as my lawyer said, it's me who went and reported. We went with Jeff to my house, and then I immediately left with three ladies. Then later, coming back after a few hours, finding that Jeff is not in the house and the others are there, uh, I am the one who actually went with them to the police station to report that Jeff is missing. And then there is also this other issue that is going on. I didn't mourn uh, the demise yet, Jeff. I reached out. Ata mimi tundo mwenye niliambia family yao about Jeff uh, is no more. And uh, I actually contacted them and told them I would have supported them wazike mtoto wao na tushikanie na wao because it was something that ata mimi na nihuzunisha. So uh, I reached an extent nikaona sipati response venye nafani pate. I told my mother, can you please call one of the family members and request them wakubali to shirikiane nao because this is something new to me. I, there's no way I can lose a friend and fail to mourn them. So with that, I'll just want to say to the family, maybe Mama Jeff hako fikishua ripoti, maybe hako ambiwa nataka tupatane, but what I can say is that we reached out to an extent that my mommy called them, uh, but... On the other issue is that uh, Mimi, I am so willing to cooperate with the detectives, DCI, and kila mtu mwenye ako hapo ivo. I'm ready to cooperate until Sisi wanted to do what happened to Jeff. God bless you so much. And for Kenyans and my fans, keep on praying for me. This thing is so hard, but we will emerge victorious. God bless. Could you please just quickly clarify? I've known Jeff for two years. He was, shell uh, he was selling shoes uh, to me and... Uh, I bought like so many pairs of shoes from Jeff since 2021 20, and then uh, all I can say is that he could tell me once I used to go to his shop the way you see these interiors so many of you sent me videos concerning Jeff's issues. I took the time yesterday night. I analyzed the videos. I took some notes, which I'm also going to take you through. Now, at the end of the video, I'm going to attach uh, the screenshots that were anonymously sent to me via Instagram. The person who sent them to me did not have a username, did not have a profile picture, so I don't know who they are. I'm going to attach the detailed CCTV screenshots at the end of the video. Uh, some of the information I also got from Mwangi Muthiora's page on Facebook. Yeah, I think those are my two sources of information and plus some of the videos you guys made on TikTok about the issue, okay? So meanwhile, let's go through the girlfriend's account, okay? Just to remind you guys, this is a CCTV account from the screenshots I got from this anonymous tipper. Now, let's continue to the girlfriend's account, okay? So this is a girlfriend's account. I'm going to mention the YouTube page up here so that you can go and watch the video. But this is on 22nd of February, okay? I'm going to explain why I think it is 22nd of February. So yeah, let's dig into it. Now, this is happening 2 p.m. on the day that Jeff was found dead, okay? So, Mutanu calls the fiancé and asks her the following questions. Has she seen Jeff and did Jeff go home? Very peculiar considering um, Mutanu was hanging out with Jeff the previous night. Number two, why would she call the fiancé to ask these questions? Guilt, if you ask me. Guilt, if you ask me. So, the fiancé responds to her and tells and, and tells her, and that is Mutanu, tells her that where Jeff is off. And if at all, Jeff wanted to get to the girlfriend, he would have found another phone and called her. Okay? So, Mutanu also tells the girlfriend that DJ Fatso Aliuliza whether Samido is Jeff's uncle. Which Mutanu responded to DJ Fatso, sorry for that. Akamwambia, yes, Samido is Jeff's uncle. Okay? Now, uh, this is where the tea is getting hotter. So, Mutanu says that uh, DJ Fatso Alimwambia ati Jeff alikunyo sana akaleta scandal, which is a whole issue on its uh, on itself and i'm going to explain why in a few okay so she also says that dj fatso aliamka asubuhi 7 a.m kuenda studio now my question is 7 a.m you're going to see why i have an issue with the timings okay 7 a.m kuenda studio akarudi kwa nyumba 11 a.m this is another issue in this case the time is off okay so he says waliacha jeff at 7 a.m akiwa amelala jeff mgadi walikuwa amelala 7 a.m and he was founded at 5 40 5 15 in the morning so which jeff is this so so far i hope you guys are seeing the discrepancies in time which i'm going to explain later on okay so the girlfriend asks mutanu whether they have checked the cctv what does mutanu say mutanu amesema wameangalia cctv atampigia in 20 minutes okay so all this time the girlfriend is so stressed akashinda kipigia mutanu mutanu ambia they have not received information oh they have not they have not received information etc so the girlfriend decides at around 3 p.m kuomba rusa now i want you to mark the time this is 3 p.m of 22nd february okay moving on swiftly Haya. The girlfriend, Joaliona, apa kuna kaish-ish, akapigia Brujef, akamshua nini? 
go and confirm whether he is at home. If not, kindly get back to, to me. Now, Jeff's bro comes back and tells Nani, the girlfriend, that Jeff are you going Jeff is not at home, okay? So, the girlfriend talk, calls Mutanu again. Now, I want you to notice what uh, the CTV findings, according to Mutanu, say. Now, Mutanu tells the girlfriend that he, Aliva Slippers, na akacha viatu. So, the second time, akabadilisha story, akasema Aliva Slippers, akacha viatu na jacket. So, he jacket, it was left for the first account, okay? Haya. Another thing that's arising from whatever Mutanu is saying, ati, huwezi toka kwa hiyo building, bila fingerprint, ama mtu anakujua. So, uyu Aliva Slippers, akaenda wapi? Hmm? Huwezi toka kama huna fingerprint. So, uyu Jeff, this Jeff who is being said that yali atuwa 7 a.m. amelala. Aliva Slippers akaenda wapi? Which is a discrepancy in this case, okay? Ati, ikasemekana ati, oh, alikuwa amenda rooftop, labda kuzimia huko. Which is a whole issue. Because, uh, remember when DJ Fatso was saying ati, alimwambia amekunya sana, akanza kuleta shida, akiklema atisamido ni anko yake. I'm coming to that in a few. Hiya, moving on swiftly. The fiance says that Jeff is not a user of drugs, Okay? Keep that in mind. So, Niko Motion Gun hii liko siwa hapa. Sorry for that. Niko Motion Gun hii liko siwa hapa. Ati alikunyo sana. If Jeff is not a user of drugs, which commotion was this? Hii Niko Motion Gun yo. Okay, let's continue with Mutano's account because so far the math is not mathing. Okay? So, ati labda alienda kwa mabeshe wake. Wagani. Wagani. Jeff was brought to this complex because of the business they had with who? Did you fatso? Okay, put that in mind. So, the time of this call was 2 p.m. Uh, that is between the girlfriend and Mutano. And the girlfriend left work at 3 p.m. Okay? I want you to keep this in mind. I want you to keep this in mind, okay? Mwili ilipatikana 5.50 a.m. Now, ni Jeff Mgani wali achua amelala 7 a.m.? Ikiwa mwili ilipatikana 5.50 a.m. Ni Jeff Mgani wali kwa meachua amelala 7 a.m.? Haya, another discrepancy. Moving on swiftly. So, let's reevaluate the relationship, okay? So, Mutanu and Jeff had been friends for quite some time. It even said they had worked on a shop uh, together, I think, in 2019 and 20, according to what I remember or recollect. And then, um, Mutanu and DJ Fatso were close, okay? So, the, what is connecting Jeff and DJ Fatso? Jeff and DJ Fatso are connecting because of work. Hi, I'm moving on. Let's continue with this account of Tanu, okay? So, still on Tanu, Jeff aliachwa peke yake. So, where did the cousin and the driver go? Because kwa CCTV na onekana, wali ingia kwenyumba. So, where did the cousin and the driver go? Discrepancy, tuendele. Ati, wamenda kuandikisha. So, still on call with Tanu, she tells the girlfriend, wamenda kuandikisha statement, ati Jeff, anatafutwa. Jeff, anatafutwa na likufa 5.50 a.m. Moving on swiftly. So, Nimeandika venue duka ya Mutanu because uh, from what I understand Mutanu was calling from her shop okay hi hey, let's moving on so what happened after the family found out okay this is according still to the girlfriend okay Mutanu calls the girlfriend alibi number 2 put that in mind okay akamwambia 2019 Jeff was suicidal which the girlfriend disagrees because 2019 and that is when uh, Nani was clearing his form 4 etc etc and was saying Jeff has always been happy hajai kwa mtu suicidal then Mutanu calls and the story changes. And she says in 2020, he was also suicidal. Bro. Okay. Um, I, I hope you're seeing between the lines. Let's read between the lines. Let's continue. Okay. So, at around 3.46 a.m., Jeff uh, sent a video to his girlfriend about uh, a video in Nyumba. It, is, it could be a case of intuition. Labda Lituma because his intuition was telling him to. Okay. So, when the girlfriend tried calling at 6 a.m., the phone was off. Put that in mind. Okay. The phone was damn off. So... DJ Fatso and Samido are friends. So she's not understanding the... What is it called? Sorry for that. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm back. So she does not understand the motive behind DJ Fatso wanting to Nesemaji, hide the murder of Jeff because they are friends with Samido, apparently, okay? Which will bring us to that question of why Fatso was asking whether Samido is Nani's uncle. That is a very huge question, okay? So according to the girlfriend, still, uh, and Asema, uh, around 3 p.m., like when she was leaving work, she decided to call DJ Fatso. And DJ Fatso answered her very rudely and says, Policy watawapigia mwache kunisumbua. Haya, put that in mind. This is a CCTV account from the screenshots that were sent my way. And this here is the girlfriend's account from the interview on YouTube, okay? I want us to mark the discrepancies. Moja to Kisonga, okay? Time. Time is a dis discrepancy because if the body was flying down at 5.47am, it means Jeff was dead. Uyu Jeff was 7am ni nani uyu? Sorry for that. Who is this Jeff who was left sleeping at 7 in the a.m.? Her discrepancy number two. Did the fact so? Ali Rudi kwake 11 a.m. According to CCTV footages, Ali Rudi 9 a.m. Discrepancy, 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 discrepancy. I am moving on swiftly. Eh, hapa nasema ati DJ Fatso alitoka kwenda studio. According to the CCTV, DJ Fatso alikuwa ametoka kusindikisha these three ladies. Tanu being one of them. Okay. Um, now, I want you to keep in mind, we have not yet included the mother's account of what happened that day 
we have not yet included that account so if already these stories are conflicting ziki unbelievable what if we add the mothers on top okay Okay, from what I saw on Nairobi Gossip, so apparently DJ Fatso is cooperating with the detectives on the case. And yeah, DCI has now been involved in this case, which has taken them too damn long.